Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for the last couple of years since I started my YouTube channel, I have kind of done this thing which is a bit like a year in review, kind of summarizing the year. And to be honest, like I just thought, what is the point this year? But I thought I would still do this because I feel like I have changed and grown a lot as a person this year. And even though a lot of stuff that I wanted to achieve this year didn't happen, um, I still feel like it doesn't mean it's a complete write off. And I still feel like a lot has changed and happened in this year. And I kind of wanted to just film a little video summarizing all of that. I literally just sat and um, watched my one from last year. And it honestly, I love doing stuff like this and looking back and just looking at how different, I, I don't know, I feel like I just look really different and seem really different. I don't know if that's just me overanalyzing stuff, but I went through, looked at loads of stuff that I said last year, um, looking at stuff that had come true, had come true, like stuff that I had kind of predicted would happen or wanted to happen, things that have and haven't happened off of the back of that. So I'm gonna talk you through kind of like my year in review everything that like has been highlights i'm not i'm gonna try not to focus on any of the negative stuff because i feel like obviously there is so much negativity around at the moment and to be perfectly honest i i consider myself to be so 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 fortunate because i know obviously this year has been horrendous for so many people and i'm not exactly gonna sit here and complain about it because i genuinely think that i um, have been extremely fortunate this year. So if anyone has had a seriously tough year, honestly my heart really really goes out to you and fingers crossed this new year will be at least slightly better than last year um, but we shall see. Right so the first major thing that happened last year was we actually got Rocky. I was so confused whether it was last year or not but it was January last year so the 5th of January I think we collected him from the breeder so we've had him nearly two years now he turned two in november and one thing that i said last year was that um obviously we had an amazing year with rocky and how i'd wanted a dog for so long and have grown up with dogs and we love rocky to bits and the one thing i said last year was that we would love at some point to get a second dog and obviously we did we got milo little baby milo they're both downstairs with steve at the moment um but yeah, if you guys didn't know that we got another dog, then I will link the video introducing Milo. But it wasn't massively planned. We obviously knew that we wanted another dog and um, I knew that I wanted to rescue one. So it's one of those things like I kept my eye open for a very, very long time, literally the whole year. I was like checking websites every day, just waiting. We missed out on quite a few dogs, to be honest. And I, I always say that I think stuff happens for a reason. So even dogs that were coming online and I was literally applying as soon as they came online and still missing out, I always just said to Steve, like, I feel like there's a reason for everything. And I feel like he was meant to be our dog. I know some people might think that sounds really silly, but yeah, I just feel like it aligned perfectly. And we obviously didn't know this year whether we would be able to get a dog or not. People seem to be going dog crazy at the moment because obviously a lot of people are now working from home. Um, the demand is so high. So we were kind of like hopeful that we would get another one this year, but kind of realistically thinking, oh, maybe it just won't happen this year. Um, but yeah, we got Milo in November, November the 10th, um, which was the day after Rocky's second birthday. And yeah, they're getting on so, so well. And this is like everything that we hoped for was that we would just get like a little brother for Rocky. And it seems to have touch wood just worked out absolutely perfectly. So we are so, so happy. And we've only had him for like, how long? Nearly two months. And I just can't imagine what it was like before him. It just seems so weird. So yeah, really, really happy. That's probably like the best thing that's happened to us this year. So last year I spoke a lot about my career change, how I had um, kind of turned in my notice for my full-time job um, at an agency and how I was kind of like going out on my own, doing my own thing. And like, it's I'm still growing my business. Like I'm really happy with that. I did feel like I would achieve more this year, but I always put so much pressure on myself to hit certain standards and stuff, which, 
I need to work on that. But yeah, I'm so happy that stuff is growing. I feel like I have a lot more freedom in my day to day. I'm so much more happy than when I was working for someone else. I feel like I could talk about this for so long, but I don't want to waffle too much. Last year, my video was definitely very waffly. Um, but one thing that I feel like I've really kind of honed down on this year is finding my passions. So I feel like previously, like specifically with my YouTube channel, that I was asking you guys like, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? And I still want to know what you guys want to see, but um, there are certain channels, kind of small changes that I've made to my channel, whether you guys would have noticed or not, but just kind of figuring out which brands do I want to work with and um, you know, what kind of videos do I want to put out? Because obviously my channel is like a reflection of myself. I don't want to be putting out stuff for the sake of it just because you guys want to see it. Obviously I, don't know, I want to know what you guys want to see, but at the same time, like if I'm not passionate about that specific video, I don't want to be putting it out. So I've really kind of been like, just thinking about what I want to achieve my channel and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm kind of yeah, coming into my own with it, I guess, a little bit. Whereas before, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. What do, what do you want to see? So, yeah, I still do definitely want to, want to know what you guys want to see. So if you do have any video requests, let me know. But there are just certain videos that obviously, if I don't feel like it aligns with what I want to be putting across, then I just don't film them. So one major thing that happened last year as well, talking business-wise, um, I feel like I need to recap what my like job actually is. Um, so I am a freelance digital designer. So I still do that. I don't do YouTube full time, but obviously like me going freelance means that I've had so much more time to focus on my YouTube stuff, which I just didn't have that before. Um, but we also decided to start a property business. So we have one rental property, which is still going really well and touch wood, I hate like saying stuff like that and jinxing stuff, I should get me paranoid. Um, yeah, so, so far that's going really well. And we did a renovation project, which I filmed a couple of videos on here, I shared with you guys. You guys seem to absolutely love it. And I love filming those videos because property is a massive passion of mine. I love interiors, I love architecture. Like I originally wanted to be an architect, but this girl not she not quite smart enough to be an architect so um yeah that's why I'm a digital designer and yeah I just I've always been really passionate about properties I just find it really interesting so those are the kind of videos that I love like love 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 to watch and I love watching house tours and just everything like that so it's nice for me to be able to film those videos for you guys as well um and I get so many messages about asking what happened with the property and like I will film a massive video explaining everything. I know one of the questions I get a lot is, how much did we spend? Um, how much of a profit did we make? All of this and that. And I will do that video when this is all wrapped up, but at the moment it's not. And to be honest, this has been the most stressful thing this year um, for us is basically we bought the, pr the project in August last year, started work September, finished work a couple of months later. So like, end of January beginning of February um, and then we finally got it on the market and Covid hit and this has been a massive curveball I've shed a lot of tears about this because I've just found it so stressful because obviously a lot of money is tied up in that property we have been extremely extremely fortunate that we were actually loaned money from family so there's a lot of pressure there and honestly like it's been so stressful if this, pro this project wasn't on our plate, then I feel like this year would have been a lot more plain sailing for me. But yeah, I've had a lot of sleepless nights about this and like long story short, the doorbell's just gone. Right, I have been joined by some fur babies. Okay, um, right, what was I saying? So we had quite a few sales fall through on the house. Um, we had people being furloughed, having their, obviously their mortgages withdrawn, um, people's mortgage offers being like rejected and stuff. Um, we had it undervalued on surveys, which um, I listened to like a really, really useful property podcast. I'll link it down below um, because it's really good if you do want to get into property. And they're basically saying across the board that that does seem to be 
a lot of surveyors are kind of because of the uncertainty around COVID that they are undervaluing properties. So we've had that quite a few times and touch wood, I hate like jinxing stuff, but at the moment we have some buyers it's, it's had its surveys it's had like the one from the mortgage company and like they had another survey done on it and it's passed all of that and we're just like so close and i don't know why it's dragging on obviously i know because of this um stamp duty holiday so many people are buying houses at the moment and i know there's a massive backlog with conveyances and stuff but it's taking so so long and like <sighs> I can just see it so close but so far um but yeah that is why I haven't given you guys an update it's because apart from what I've just told you there is no update but as soon as there is an update I will obviously let you guys know and I'll film a video and that's something I really want to do and I want to talk you through exactly what we spend everything like we learn um just literally everything I want to just put it all out there because when we were looking to do this I don't feel like there's a lot of videos out there that really talk about it in detail and say look this cost this we did this you know there isn't a lot of information about that and i understand people don't like to talk about money in that sense but i think it would be really helpful because that's a video that i would have loved um so i would love to film that for you guys but that's why i haven't so far because yeah there's been a lot going on so aside from business and stuff like that i feel like such an idiot because last year i was like yeah, 2020 is gonna be like the year of travel for us. We had so many holidays like kind of planned. We haven't had a lot of stuff booked, which is really fortunate, but we had so much stuff kind of planned. And I feel like such an idiot because obviously like with COVID, none of that happened. So obviously like it's frustrating that we couldn't go on all these trips that we planned, but it's obviously not the end of the world. Um, we've just kind of postponed stuff and replanning and reevaluating. We were really fortunate that we did manage to go away to Greece for a week in September, um, which honestly, like I just, I know it was at the time, it seemed like people were really split whether they thought travel was just like a massive no or whether people were like, yeah, just go away when you can. Um, and I'm really thankful we did go away because I felt like mentally I really needed it. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things like with COVID, it just divides people so much and so many people kind of get really opinionated and vocal about what they think is right. And the truth is nobody knows what's right at the moment because this hasn't happened before. So we've always kind of followed government guidelines. We've never broken any rules or anything like that. Travel was allowed at the time and I'm so thankful we did. And we are planning some trips this coming year which I'm really excited for and I'm just really hoping it can go ahead, but I'm kind of trying to be realistic and think that it may not. So one big trip that we have planned for this year is that we're planning to go to Portugal, to the Algarve in um, April. It's Steve's 30th. So we would love to be away for his birthday and yeah, really properly celebrate it and do like a nice big holiday. Obviously that's only a few months away and I'm not hopeful I don't know whether we should even book stuff to be honest or just do it last minute it's there's so much uncertainty at the moment it feels like we are taking like one step forward 10 steps back at the moment so we hope to do that we also hope to do croatia which was a big trip we were meant to do this year that didn't happen um and we also had quite a few staycations that were cancelled as well that's one thing people were saying to me previously was that oh you should be putting money back into our economy and you know and i understand that and that was always my intention. Um, so yeah, we, we weren't just planning on going abroad. We were gonna do some staycations in the UK as well, but both of those got canceled. So one of those was for our anniversary. Um, we were gonna go down to Exeter. We were gonna stay in this really cool, it was like a shipping container that was like converted. I found it on Airbnb and we were so excited. We were gonna take Rocky with us. Yeah, it just didn't happen. It got canceled um, because that was when we were going into our lockdown and then that's when we got Milo. And then also we were planning to go to North Norfolk because that's actually where my granny lives um, and I haven't seen her for a very long time. So we were going to go and sort of socially distance see my granny and obviously North Norfolk is really beautiful as well. So we were going to stay in a really cute little cottage there. That got cancelled. So um, I've actually moved that booking because I couldn't get a refund on it because it literally got cancelled like a couple of days before or something. 
um so yeah i've postponed that booking I'm hoping to do that maybe february time but again we literally have no idea so fingers crossed going back to anniversary so me and steve celebrated our fourth anniversary in november and like i said we were planning to go away that's something we do every single year and we actually alternate so um our first anniversary steve planned the trip i didn't know where we were going until we got to the airport um second year we planned it together third year last year steve surprised me but i ruined the surprise we went to amsterdam <laughs> and this year we were obviously going to do like a little staycation and we're hoping just to do that same weekend as soon as we can do it um but we shall see with that as well so this year for our anniversary we just stayed at home but it was really really nice anyway um we just like made a weekend out of it just had a really good time um but we just got so much stuff planned for the near future that we're really excited about so we don't want to kind of dwell on stuff like oh we didn't get to celebrate our anniversary like we wanted to because we have so many exciting things that we would like to do maybe in the next year um obviously i've said we're, we're planning on doing those of holidays which is obviously really exciting potentially we're looking at moving house um next year we're gonna wait and see what happens with the stamp duty holiday because if we do end up moving that will save us so much money um so if that gets extended then we're probably just going to take advantage of that and go for it um we've had like our house um valuated value valued why can't i think of the word valuation a house valuation so we know how much our house is worth i think we're going to start chat soon about realistically what we could afford so we know exactly what we're kind of going for we have looked at some houses um and we're kind of just playing it by ear like when we see something we're just going to go for it um the type of house that we're looking for is very very different to the house we live in at the moment um i think with a lot of people being in like lockdown and stuff like that it does make you really think about your kind of living situation and maybe what you do and don't want things like that so although we, we absolutely love our house um and to be honest it's bigger than what we need um so we're not looking to size up but it's a new build and it's a townhouse so it's split over three floors and it's quite close to our neighbors let's put it that way um a lot of new builds obviously they aren't on big plots of lands um so we're looking to potentially get somewhere detached um that's just maybe a little bit more quiet i feel like the area we live in has quite a lot of through traffic there's people like constantly walking past and that's something like i've always worked from home that's something that really bugs me and just like people outside just making loads of noise <laughs> like i although i don't want to be rural like completely in the countryside i feel like we would both this isn't just me we'd both like to be somewhere a little bit more quiet where we live at the moment is like a really really family kind of area we don't have a family we're not thinking about starting a family anytime soon and although the area is lovely there is definitely a bustle and there's always kids running around and i get the appeal for some people but for us it's just like noise and bustle and just not great for what we want so that's one of the driving forces is like location and um we want a project basically this house was a new build and we just fell in love with it when we came and looked around it's so unique and different to anything that we'd seen um but we would like a project this was our first house that we bought together me and steve had our own houses before which we sold and then put our money together for this place um and yeah it's been an amazing house and we do absolutely love it but we would love to put our stamp on somewhere and yeah do it a little bit differently so that is hopefully going to happen maybe in the next year or so we literally don't know we're not putting like a, t a date on it um because yeah we just don't know another thing i said last year was that i really wanted to get back into my health and fitness this year and that's another thing that's just not happened um obviously with the closure of gyms for a long time i've been trying to work out from home not loving it i have tried out some coaches the last coach i had was really good i have i literally filmed the other day um 
a kind of healthy eating video so that will be coming up on my channel i did like a little healthy grocery shop um and yeah i asked you guys before christmas as well do you want to see more kind of health and fitness stuff and um the answer was yes so yes i will be doing more of that stuff obviously this year i felt like just really unmotivated with it i didn't really want to work out from home i had a lot of issues going back to my gym i just feel like they're the way they handled um the situation when the gyms reopened after lockdown was just not great it, it, they basically reduced their hours so i feel like if they just stuck to their normal opening times people would be able to space out more but they literally half their hours so it felt like the time that i would normally go to the gym was just like so much more busy and then I wanted to go on my lunch break because I thought like that would be more quiet but then it wasn't open then and stuff like that so it's been frustrating um I don't really know what I'm going to do because there aren't a lot of gyms around us so I'm still stumped with that I just need to like make a plan and just kind of stick to it but I have been saying for ages I want to really get back into like lifting and I can't do that at home um, and I do enjoy doing that and I feel like that's why home workouts don't work for me is because I enjoy lifting and doing like more kind of heavy weight stuff and there's a limit to what I can do at home in my spare room or in my freezing cold garage so yeah I need to reevaluate what I'm gonna do with that. One thing that I actually did do last year um, was I did this like goal planning thing where basically I wrote down four I think it was four different categories and then three goals in each category so for example one category would be like business and i'd write down three business goals that i'd want to hit and then like one of them was like health and fitness and one of my goals was to like squat a certain amount leg press a certain amount things like that not things like oh i want to lose two stone you know more like exciting goals i wanted to achieve um and I was getting on really well with it and I was like so close to hitting my squat goal I was literally like next session I have in the gym I'm gonna hit it and lockdown happened and I didn't hit it and then I kind of felt like I think when like lockdown hit for everyone the first time around it was just like what the f <laughs> and that all just went out the window but I am I do I completely forgot that I actually did that last year until I watched my video from last year so I'm gonna do that again because that was really good and kind of drove me on um so another thing that I said that I wanted to kind of focus on last year that I feel like I kind of have is kind of like the fear of judgment and I said previously um I tend to like over worry about what people think of me and stuff like that and I don't know if it's just time and focusing on it or if it's like old age but I just feel like this year like I don't care as much like as long as you're kind of being true to yourself like I'm not putting anything out there that's like nasty I know I'm obviously not like a horrible person anything like that that if people just judge you because they want to because they're judging you before they know you then that's kind of on them and as long as I'm kind of being true to myself and being positive I hope then I should stop overthinking about what I think other people think of me if that makes sense um yeah and I feel like a lot more happy and confident putting myself out there and the last thing is and I feel like I've only just realized this in literally the last month but I've always said about like being unmotivated and like oh I'm not motivated I need to get more motivation or this and that and part of it is just like the people I follow and things that like other people say that kind of open my eyes up um but it's not so much about motivation it's kind of a lot about discipline and routine and I feel like for me this year my discipline and my routine has just gone out the window and I'm sitting here going, I'm so unmotivated, I'm so unmotivated. And sometimes it's not just about motivation. Obviously, if you are really motivated, that is amazing. But you can't be motivated 100%, 100% of the time. It's just not realistic. Unless you're like superwoman. Like, I'm just not, like, I'm not the kind of person who's like happy, clappy, smiley all the time. You know, I have like down days and like, I just have like demotivated days. It happens, it happens to everyone. But I feel like if you have like the discipline and routine set up, it just kind of makes 
it a bit easier to stay on track with certain things if that makes sense so yeah I think definitely realizing that I'm missing like I'm just have a lack of routine at the moment and I'm not being disciplined with myself in certain things like I am the queen of procrastination and I feel like I'll sit there all day thinking oh but I have to do this I have to do that, I have to do that and then I'll just procrastinate all day and I don't do it and then it gets to the end of the day and I'm stressing about it and I'm like if I'd have just done that in the morning my day would have just been so much nicer like and less stressful so I definitely need to yeah after this video I'm literally going to sit down do some planning for this year do some content planning I've got a new diary that I'm really psyched to use um yeah and I'm going to try and get myself <laughs> more organized I feel like I'm an organized person but I'm just also a bit like undisciplined but yeah that is everything from me I hope this video hasn't been too long and boring for you guys but just kind of insight into stuff that's been going on this year um and what we're kind of hoping to do in the new year um and I really really honestly hope that this coming year is like even just the slightest bit better for majority of people um yeah it's been a bit of a shit show guys I feel like we're all on the same page with that but hopefully my videos have provided some sort of entertainment or like an escape for you guys over this last year um like I said obviously I do want to know what you guys want to see even though I feel like what I said earlier kind of contradicts that so let me know if there's anything that you would like to see from me um even if it's just puppies I can provide puppies um and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports on my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time I will see you guys later